The film begins, and we see a desert where some people from a company have arrived. They want to extract oil from here, but their information was wrong. Because there was no oil here, so they want to go back from there. The company sends a plane to transport them, and the pilot of the plane was named Frank. He has a co-pilot with him, they've come to transport them from here. After being seated on the plane, they all were ready to leave from there. Meanwhile, a big storm has approached there on the way. Frank's pilot asks him, what do we need to do now? Frank says that if we go back, we'll have to wait for the fuel after going there. Because we don't have enough fuel to take off the plane again. Frank takes his plane into the storm and flies it upward. Their plane carries a heavy weight. And because of it, the sandstorm damages the plane's engine. Frank informs everyone that we must make an emergency landing. It wasn't easy to land the plane because Frank couldn't see anything because of the storm. When he lands his plane, it hits a rock. As a result, the tail side of the plane was separated. One of their passengers falls off the plane and dies. While slipping with the desert, their plane falls off. Later, they learn their two other passengers have died. They still don't get out of the plane because the storm was still outside. As the storm ends they come out and see. As the storm ended, their plane was buried in the sand. After a while, their plane was visible. And they were trapped in the desert because of the storm. They don't have any other way to return. They check their food item. They learn that they have food items for up to one month. Meanwhile, a man tells Frank that I'll go on foot from there. In reality, they must travel 200 miles to leave this desert. The man who wants to go from there says, as I frequently travel so, I can go on foot. The reason for this was that the radio was not also working there. They needed help and there a man tells this man that have you gone mad. This is the month of July and do you know how hot this month is in the desert? You'll die but the man wasn't ready to listen to anyone. He says that I'll travel at night and when Frank makes him understand, he understands. He quits his plan to travel and it turned night now. At night, the storm hits, and when a man gets up to go to the washroom, he falls off because of the storm and he calls for help. He screams for help but no one hears. In the morning when everyone gets up, they see. They see a companion missing, they find him, but he doesn't have any clue about him. Because he has been buried in the sand and meanwhile, a girl from their group approaches Frank. She asks him, will anyone come to save us? How many percent chances are there that someone will come to save us? Frank tells her that we're standing in the middle of the desert. I don't think anyone will come to know about this location. There is less access to the radio signals and we have a little amount of food supply. If we travel on foot, our food will be consumed within two days. I can only wait here, their hopes begin to end there. That no one will come to save them, and two men from their group decide. That we'll go from here and they want to transport water from there as well. Meanwhile, Frank tells them that you can't take water from here. A fight starts between them for the water, and as a result, the water falls down. Meanwhile, a man from their group comes who is named Elliot. He approaches them and tells them that he has an idea from we can save our life. He tells them that we can make a new plane from this broken plane. Frank asks what do you know about the plane? He tells that I used to design the planes. Actually, no one knows about Elliot who is he and from where did he come? Because he has just come into this company and he has spent a short amount of time with them. Everyone was surprised to know about Elliot and they tell him that they'll accompany him. But Frank was not ready for this because he knows that it isn't possible. When it turns morning, another man was disappeared and the girl from their group says, 
that she'll go to find him, but Frank stops her and says that he'll go to find him. He goes there alone and arrives at the site where their plane has collided with the rock. And a man has fallen there, his dead body was still there. He doesn't have clothes on his body and there were scars from the bullets as well. Meanwhile, another man arrives there and says that I think looters might have come here. And they've taken his clothes and everything. Frank asks him to go from there. Meanwhile, one of their group members asks Frank why he doesn't allow to manufacture the plane. He says, why I give people false hope when I know that the plane cannot be made. He says that we can give hope to them because the world runs on hope. After hearing him, Frank agrees to manufacture the plane. They've come to the place where the other people of their group were. Now, they start to manufacture the plane, but they work at night. Because it was too hot during the day and their trouble increases when. One day while welding, sparkles accidentally fall onto the fuel. They had stored for burning the fire and the whole fuel was ruined. They've left with a short amount of fuel. So they decide to work during the day instead of the night. They have to connect a wing of the plane that they have to manufacture a new plane from the old plane. They take that wing upward with the help of a chain. Because they don't have a crane and they gradually start to connect that wing. Meanwhile, the chain breaks with they've connected the wing. There was a man in the plane who comes out and tells to everyone that the wing of the plane has connected and their plane was now manufactured. Because they hope that they can go from there and everyone starts to dance. They were enjoying themselves a lot there and were putting away the sand from there. So, a path for their plane can be ready but this all wasn't easy. One day a lightning storm hits there, and everyone was running from there. But Elliot doesn't go because he doesn't want to let his plane be damaged at any cost. Because he has put a lot of effort into that. Frank comes and pushes him away. And he saves Elliot because he doesn't want to let him be harmed. What would happen to their plane if something happened to Elliot? They name their plane Phoenix, and they still have to work a lot on their plane. One night, they saw some people with the use of a microscope sleeping in tents. Actually, they were smugglers and they were called the desert looters. They loot the people who come there but Frank's companions don't know about them. Frank tells them to seek their help in obtaining water. Elliot tries to stop him, but he ignores him. After taking his few companions, he goes to take water from them. When they approach them the smugglers attack them. They kill one of Frank's friends, and a fight starts there. The smugglers are killed there, but one of their friends flees. Frank was about to kill him, but he doesn't kill him and brought him to his friends. Everyone asks to kill him, but Frank stops everyone. Elliot kills him after coming there and Frank rebukes him a lot. Elliot tells him that he is to blame for everything. We could be saved because you were a pilot, but you didn't do this. Frank becomes angry and he punches him and he falls down. Elliot becomes angry from this all because Frank has insulted him in front of them all. Elliot angrily says I'll not make the plane, I work hard alone and you don't even work. Meanwhile, a girl from their group comes and requests him. Please agree with us, how can we work without you, we can't. Elliot now sets a condition, if Frank apologizes to him, he'll work with them. Frank apologized to him, and one day when they were looking with their microscope, they see the smuggler who fled has come with his members. They don't attack them. They don't have guns because Frank has taken their guns away. That Frank and his companions have. The smugglers know that they've left with little food supply. They were awaiting the day when they would run out of food. They'll attack then, on the other side they were working enthusiastically. One day Frank finds a book in which the models for the planes were made. 
Later, they learn that the models Elliot used to make were for the small level. He used to create kids playing planes, but these planes can fly. Everyone learns about Elliot, a man rags at him, saying, since when you were befooling us. This plane is never going to fly nor you've made such a giant plane till now. He points a gun at his head but Elliot tells him, trust me this plane will fly. Frank stops the man who has pointed a gun at Elliot. Meanwhile, a storm hits there. The plane they've made with great efforts begins to take over gradually. They understand that this plane will take off, and they begin to feel hopeful. After the storm ends they become hopeless. Frank tells them that the plane will take off. They bring the plane out of the sand and bring it to a place where there was no sand. Their plane takes off, but after a while, it stops, and then their plane restarts. After hearing the engine's sound, the smugglers come who've hidden there. They waited a very long time to smuggle them. They all have come on their horses by taking their guns to kill them. They all after climbing on the plane hung on to it. Actually, the design of the plane was in the manner that no space for anyone to sit there. So, they all hung upside, and their plane gradually starts moving ahead. The looters were shooting at them, but the guns did not hit them. Afterward, their plane plunged into a ditch. The smugglers believe that they all might have died. But suddenly their phoenix takes off into the sky. They all were quite happy. Considering that they've been successful in the struggle they've been in for weeks. They have escaped the desert in this manner. In the last scene, we see images of some people who contacted their families. We find out about Frank that he has started his own airline company that he named Phoenix. Elliot, how can we ever forget him? He was the reason everyone was saved. His picture was published in a newspaper in which it was written in NASA. It means he now works in NASA. In this way, they enjoy happy life. The movie story ends with this. Thanks.